Hi, I'm Carmen, and I'm the Psycho Fan Girl. And today, we're going to be watching the first episode of a new anime, to me, anyway, and it's called Kakuryo Bed and Breakfast of Spirits. I posted an anime recommendations reel on my Instagram for this anime. And it got a really good response. And I've been wanting to watch this anime for a long time. So I decided to give it a try. I hope you enjoy this reaction. Stay tuned. So here's the game. And this is this uh, mask person. So this must be the the main girl. But she was a little girl. This masked person gave her some food and saved her life when she was little. Um, cherry blossoms are so pretty, oh my gosh. This is a Jose, and I love Jose. So the main girl is able to see spirits. Oh, look at those little kappas. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How cute is that kappa? But as far as I understand in Japanese folklore, kappas aren't cute. They're actually quite dangerous. I love cherry blossoms. And I've talked about it in another video of mine, but I lived in Korea for a year as an English teacher and I got to see the cherry blossoms there. They are gorgeous. And I sat there and I took pictures and I would get distracted and then I would have to run to work. So there's this guy in an older mask. Wow. Not faced by his ogre mask at all. She walks away. It's like, I'm hungry. He tried so hard to ignore him. He's like, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And she's like, I guess so. <laughs> I love how she's like, You're hungry, right? Eat this food so you don't cause trouble for anybody. He scratched her, and I wonder why he scratched her. Hmm. Did he mark her or something? Underneath the mask. Wow. <laughs> Just the mouth. Cute. <laughs> I love how he knows her name already. That might be creepy, but it's also intriguing at the same time. So. So. The main character, Aoi, has been able to see spirits ever since she was a little girl. And because of that, her mom, like, abandoned her. That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Oh, so she was raised by her grandfather. And he taught her how to cook. The grandfather died. So the grandfather was looking out for her by leaving her money. Oh, look at this. The ogre guy. Well, the guy in the ogre mess left food where she met him the last time. And like a hairpin. So that's pretty cool. I knew that was going to happen. 
But I do love these cherry blossoms. So she's going to the hidden room. Like you don't see his face yet, but you can tell that he's good looking. <laughs> Spike the horns. <laughs> and he's probably still wearing that mask. Everybody's wearing a mask. He took it off. He's an ogre. Bride. Hmm. It's like, your bride? What are you talking about? <laughs> and that guy is like totally shady. Like the other ones are like totally shading her. She tried to run though, bro. She did try to run. Oh, that is so pretty and nice. Look at that. The city all lit up. So the hidden realm must be like the spirit world. And they're in an inn in the spirit world. Oh. So the grandfather must have been there before. Okay. Okay. Yep. An old friend. She's like, hey, I don't know why you keep on talking about this whole Mary thing, but I don't know you, so I can't be your bride. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. So he does want to marry her based on a promise that the grandfather made. Oh, so the grandfather spent a lot of money at the inn, and he spent way more money than he could pay back. That's kind of messed up, though, to offer your granddaughter as payment for a debt you may not be able to pay back. Collateral. You're going to call her collateral? I'm like, really, sir? Really? I like how practical she is. I just met you and we don't know each other. So how am I going to marry you like that? Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute. Torture. No, 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 no. No, I don't like that. I don't like the way that sounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so the torture they're talking about it's just pampering they're gonna pamper her <laughs> it's a really cute and pretty kimono I love that kimono he's determined to say my bride she's like I'm not your bride I really love this art because if you could see how her lips were drawn and animated oh my gosh it was super aesthetic and pretty and I just like the art already it's very clean and aesthetic art wait a minute don't say that like you know when we eat girls that have strong spiritual power they're delicious like would you be scared if someone said that to you <laughs> and they were an ogre would you so 
He's like, I like you though, so I won't eat you. But all this back talk is kind of making me want to eat you anyway. So please stop. <laughs> what? Like, that's crazy. So the grandfather is famous around the other spirits in the spiritual realm. So her being the granddaughter makes her low-key famous or super valuable. Okay. He is like a pretty man. Dang. I like her. She's like, how much is my father's debt? Because I need to know. And it's 100 million yen. I don't know how much that is. I think that might be around like $100,000 or so in like USD. I'm not exactly sure, but dang, that's a lot of money. <laughs> I already like Aoi because she's like, I will work it off. I will pay it back. Not marry you though. Not saying that. <laughs> He's just trying to buy herself some time, which makes sense. Because this guy's like, let's marry immediately, even though we don't know each other. She's like, maybe we should slow down. Maybe we should slow down. She is just trying not to marry somebody she barely knows. But he's like, you're an arrogant brat for doing that. Really, sir? Really? So, he's like, if you don't marry me, and... You are human, and there are a lot of spirits here who like to eat humans. I can't protect you because you're not my bride. You're just an employee. If that happens, it happens. Sorry. <laughs> so he's really trying to make her marry him. Really? So this is another flashback with our grandpa. Can I say I already like this show already? Oh, don't cry, girl. Don't cry. Don't say that. Like, of course he cared about you. Despite the fact he was gonna marry you off if he couldn't pay his debt back. He was probably scared and in a situation where he was desperate. So that's probably why he's like, you can marry my daughter. Just don't eat me and it'll be fine. <laughs> probably. Did she say she was hungry or did this Kitsune say it? Because this is a cute Kitsune. Homie, how are you going to offer somebody food and then say, By the way, it's not poisoned or anything, so it's totally fine to eat. That would make me think that it was, and I should eat it, wouldn't it? Genji. He's so cute. So that's why he's in a cute chibi form. Oh, and he can turn into a woman. Oh my gosh. I can understand why she would think if he's the young master of the inn, then he would be the ogre's son. But an ogre and a kitsune are two different creatures. So of course not. But still. Oh, that looks good. That looks like good food. Yeah, of course you would have many concerns. So this guy must be a good guy, despite the fact that he said that stuff to her. I guess that was just his way of trying to convince her to marry him. She's like, I'm still not feeling it. That's not my vibe. She is like so set on getting a job there and paying off the debt. But I don't think she's actually thinking about the other spirits that might not be so kind to humans. and might want to eat humans. And she needs some kind of protection. You know? I like her optimism though. That's the only thing he can make. The little like croquettes. 
Wait, in this realm, women aren't allowed in the kitchen? Reminds me of that Korean drama from a while ago. I think it was like mid, early, maybe late 2000s. It's called Pasta. And the main guy didn't want women in the kitchen, mainly because he had a girlfriend that betrayed him. But regardless, why? I can cook, let me in the kitchen. Oh yeah, this was the second time she ate food in the spiritual realm, or from the spiritual realm. I'm thinking that, so this blue-haired woman, oh my gosh, she already looks like trouble. She's jealous, that's what it is. Again, I like her optimism. So nobody wants to take her on as a worker. Of course they didn't want her in the kitchen. She couldn't find a job. Not yet. What is that arrow? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of arrows. Hmm. Might be dangerous. We don't know. Okay. What was that? Oh, that's so pretty. Look at all that green. Uh, Japanese architecture and the pond. Is that like a koi pond? That's so pretty, bro. Oh my gosh. And there's a little house. This must be an abandoned restaurant. where the kitsune is. That's not scary. Then why would he think that she, he would be scary to her? Why did it close? It's unlucky. A gaming house, so oh. what's a gaming house? Don't give up on it though. I guess that was like fried sushi and what she ate yesterday or last night. But is it omelet rice is what he's gonna cook? Oh, he wants omelet rice. I love omelet rice, it's so good. Oh my gosh. Onions and the egg. 
That looks so good. Anime food it makes me jelly. That's what the ogre said. He said her food was delicious too. really eating all of it so he must enjoy it he's like i like you and you cook well let's open up a restaurant so there's a tangu and somebody else i don't know what that other person was, but the guy with the wings was a tangle. So that's the end of the episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this episode a lot. It's very aesthetic, and I love the Jose, like part of it. And I think everything was really cute, and I'm glad that she wants to open up a restaurant because I would like to open up a cafe in the future. More like a Korean style cafe. I hope you enjoyed this reaction because I always enjoy making these reactions for you all. And our two year anniversary is coming up for the channel. And I'm really excited. Thank you for two wonderful years. And there is a poll that I have posted in the community tab. So if you check that out and vote, I would really appreciate it. I have all of the options there and you can choose what we watch on our anniversary, which is December 26th. Hi, I'm Carmen and I'm the Such a Fat Girl. And today we're going to be watching a new anime and it is called... I wish I knew what it was called. <laughs> I did not know what it's called. Now I have to look it up. That's okay. Um, we're all looking, right? 